Hello, my name is Rudy, and welcome to Let's Play Stellaris. We are the Gylo Interstellar League, and we are at war with the Jun Bloodborne. Hopefully this war will go well. Otherwise, I might become frustrated and annoyed and angry, and that would not be very fun at all. But I don't know. Well, we'll see. Sometimes losing can be fun, but we just started this game, and we don't want to lose. So we're building a wormhole station so we can actually strike at our territory. We may be a militarist. Ooh, heritage sites. <clears throat> Wonderful. Ah, we can get uplift. I think uh, this uplift technology is on the way to gene tailoring. So let's go for it. Only be 22 months. See, the fact that we picked a, a biology expert is already paying off. And I guess, oh, our, we're almost out of food, but we are building more farms. So we should be fine in that regard. Yeah, hopefully, I mean, our Admiral is already 77 years old. He's probably going to die in the middle of this war, leaving us without the, the valuable skills and talents that we need. <clears throat> so the, the Bloodborne is actually busy fighting another war. Hopefully they'll suffer some casualties. And this nation is becoming too big. But their fleet power is still only equivalent. What the heck? It just goes to show you how these evangelizing zealots have no idea how to manage a military. Oh, wait, I picked on them. Wait, they're inferior, obviously, because there's some small empire surrounded on all fronts by the enemy that will do unspeakable things. And the Zack Plot nation is equivalent. Well, that makes me feel a bit better. Maybe we'll have to hit them. Maybe... Well, wait, wait a second. Their na naval capacity is still superior, so maybe they've lost a bunch of ships recently. That could really explain it. We finished our mandate. You know, we have uh, a surplus of influence that we should probably spend. What can we do? What sort of edicts we have available? You know what just occurred to me? We could do a land of opportunity. Uh, I want to do some sort of edict to make aliens more likely to migrate. I don't think I have such an edict, though. Let's see, what can we spend our influence on? Let's take a look at our planets. Let's see if we can maybe find some planets with a very high output. Like, this one has 25 minerals. They're producing 25 minerals, so let's, uh... do... production targets for plus 15% minerals. We're at 110 minerals, now we're at 113. Okay. And of course, that's going to be over the course of 10 years. Capacity overload for more energy? Propaganda broadcast? What 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 is our most populous planet? We can do a propaganda broadcast to increase happiness for all kinds of productivity boosts. Alright, that's enough for now. We're out of food. The people are starving. And is that construction ship going to finish their freaking... Okay, finally, the wormhole station is done. Let us send in the second strike force and see what we can find. We have eight. I wonder how many armies we're going to need. We could recruit a general. Let's embark these armies. Let's embark all of, or a bunch of our armies anyway. Yeah, we should send in a crushing amount of force. And we'll send them all here and have them group up. And we are on our way. We're at minus 41 energy. Yeah, we might need to do some, and or you know, maybe we could build some more Research orbital complete. solar panel networks. Ah, yes, fighters. Let's go for the aurelium mining. You know, we could probably trade away some of our surplus resources. There is the enemy fleet there. They got 4.3k? What the heck? And you say that is equivalent? You say that? Is equivalent we only got 3k hmm what how do we they have three strike cruisers some frigates a number of corvettes how best do we handle this we can maybe recall the fleet to strike at them fight them with our spaceport and our admiral <clears throat> or we could attack and take a planet we should probably attack and take a planet 
We can always retake that planet from them. I wonder if we could lure them into fighting the Aether Drake. Okay. We are in combat situation. Alright, they are done. And, oh, they use wormhole technology, too. Crazy. This could be difficult. Okay, great. <clears throat> Let's see what their ground forces are like. They have quite a few. Let's bomb them. They probably want to get in here and take their planet before they can strike. Our transport fleets are still en route. Okay, all, all they have arrived. Let's group them up. Okay. We got 20 armies. Let's get them in here. And let's recruit a general to lead our armies. Glory Seeker. Excellent. Welcome aboard. Alright, so I've, I've, they use wormhole technology too, which is crazy. Where's their fleet? Their fleet is gone. I hope they're not gonna crunk me on the head. This could be bad. They're out there somewhere, lurking behind the veil of space. Energy. Power grid. Planetary power grid. Expand, extended combat algorithms. Let's get, let's go down the energy path. We want to get plasma weapons. Okay, oh, our fleet has, our armies have landed. Great. The enemy fleet, that is not the enemy fleet. That is a transport ship. Let's blow them up. Oh my god, they got so many transport ships. Excellent. We've taken the planet, and we're destroying their transport ships, and our admirals gain the Gale Speed trait. Wee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-
So they still have cruisers and destroyers. Let's build some more of our... Let's build some more of our own cruisers. More of the Van Buren class cruisers. And what is our... Yeah, we have a pretty well-defended planet here. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes. Research complete. Excellent. Now, this is, this is a good war. You know, it's not completely one-sided. The enemy can actually do something about us. Let's go for the plasma thrusters. Like, we might not win. Like, this is gonna... This is some challenge. We got more ships in the pipeline. Oh, we can rebuild our spaceport. Perfect. Okay, we're about to finish our first round of reconstructed ships. <clears throat> Good. Good. Ah, oh, let's get the additional... Ooh, plasma throwers. Nice, that is what I was looking for. 31 months for the plasma throwers. Let's go for it. Alright, so you should be... You need to go repair. And are you not my rally point? There, now the rally point. Okay, everyone should go meet up for this fleet. I guess I'll need to manually move them all since they weren't, when they got constructed, you know, the rally point didn't exist. Okay, well, as long as we can hold on to this planet, we should be good. I mean, we have a ton of armies on the planet. We have a defending general, and we can build more ships. Frontier Clinic, excellent. Plus 10% naval capacity. Patheran Dust for plus 10% food output. Let's clear the tile blocker, though. All right, we need to make more spaceships. Let's get some more cruisers in the pipe. I wish I could, like, invite other people into the war. Oh, they withdrew. They know we're up to something. We've successfully taken one planet. I think maybe we'll just go for a white piece. I mean, we need, to, we need to wait a little while if we increase the power of our fleet so the relative fleet strength isn't so skewed against us. Hey, we gained the battleship focus? What does battleship focus mean? Battleship build cost minus 20%. Oh, that's great. Yeah, do you know that... Like, are you crazy? No one, no one can build a ship that big. The technology for that type of thing doesn't exist. And he's like, well, I really like battleships, and if you build them... I will subsidize them. It's like, great. I, I think we need a more sensible governor. Group them up. How come they're not they're not going to my rally point? The second strike force is the rally point, so they should group up. There's like an edict for building ships. Or maybe we don't have that technology yet. Is there not a... We have a mod controller. Improved energy initiative. Ooh. I did not realize I had these things available. Encourage a free thought. So there's nothing for, like, making, I don't know, ship construction better or anything like that. That's fine. But we'll just build more ships and hopefully our admiral doesn't die from old age. Okay, their fleet is back. They still have no transport ships here. Construction complete. Man, if they take that planet from me, that's going to be huge. We're at minus 10 war score. In any event, we will come out of this war a bit wiser, I think. We are lacking the minerals we need. Complete. Now they're hopping away again. What are they up to? What is their game? Orbital hydroponic farm, you say? 
share the burden. We have no slaves. We don't need share the burden because that increases slave output. Let's go for the... The biolab too. Communications established with Riggin Commerce Exchange. Well met, friend. Someone with enemy is up to now. So we have almost enough fleet power to challenge them. We have... Construction completed. Oh, they have 2,700 fleet power now. Yeah, they're they're pulling ahead with their production. It's a, a, a production race now. We don't have the minerals we require. Election coming up. Can we elect someone who has a discount to ship construction? Like you, destroy your build cost, minus 20%, and world shaper. But you're busy leading engineering research. I think that is fine. Let's elect a Bruno Stein. Yes. That'll be good. We'll support him. And then we'll just build a bunch of destroyers to finish up our fleet power. That might be good. Plasma thruster. Oh, let's get the droids. Because we can use the droids to colonize some of these planets. You can't colonize planets with robots, but you can use droids. The droids have the automation abilities necessary. Their fleet is just getting bigger and bigger. Well, after this election, though, we'll be able to fill in the ranks with more destroyers. Construction completed. Situation updated. Okay, we need to get a new scientist in here. We have some available scientists. Perfect. Spark of genius. You'll need some kind of genius to make these robots. Okay, look at that. Minus 20% because of Bruno. We can make a bunch of destroyers. Perfect. New contact with the Dis Bloodborne. Hmm? What the heck? What the hell are these guys? Are they also... They're, they're hegemonic imperialists. Okay, they are fanatic xenophile and militarist. Cooperation will surely benefit us all. Now, where did they come from? That's them. Okay, these these territories are just out of control. We can bring them to the negotiating table very soon. We just need a bit more power. There are 3,000 fleet power. Those bastards. Yeah, it's so hard to get ahead once you get behind like that. We got plasma throwers. I guess we'll grab the blue laser. Alright, we'll queue up some more destroyers. I'm not sure when it'll be time to strike. I mean, I guess we're just gonna have to go after another planet and occupy it. So let's build a wormhole station, get our fleet ready, get our ground forces ready to go in. Do we have enough ground forces? We have, of course, we have these guys have to, will have to remain in, in that position to keep the army, to keep the planet defended. But all these other, all these other fleets we can move. I hope we'll have enough. And we'll send them all right there. Okay, we'll see how that goes. And in the meantime, we'll continue building destroyers. Construction completed.
Okay, they are willing to accept the white piece. So if for some reason they're about to come in here with a bunch of forces and retake this planet, you know, like with ground forces, I'll probably just take the piece right there instead of risk losing the war. So we'll keep an eye on that. It shouldn't be too difficult. And we can keep on building destroyers. What is this? Oh, it is something about a rivalry. A rivalry or some such. Construction complete. Okay, we finished our wormhole station. Now, the thing is, hmm, if we... I mean, they have wormhole stations too. So as soon as we jump in, they're going to jump after me. Or we could just go for a white piece. But I would so... I don't want to go home empty-handed. So to speak. Let's get... I don't know... We got more ships coming in. We almost have 3,000 fleet power to go against their 3,300. They have the edge. They have strike cruisers. They got all kinds of ships. They have a bunch of corvettes. Well, I guess we'll see. Let's jump in. We can always... We can try... We have, we have good traits. Our admiral is level 4. Of course, that's all factored into the total fleet power. If only we could, like, assassinate their admiral. Well, we'll strike at this system. Hopefully we'll be able to get in and get out. They're gone. What is all this? We gotta send in our transport fleet as well. Hopefully this is not a disaster. Okay, we got a couple days to go. Okay, we have arrived. Ooh, look at this place. Let's take out that wormhole station. And there's the enemy, the enemy planet. They don't have any space stations. Oh man, we could just totally snag up this planet. Let's send in the transport fleet. Okay, this is pretty tense. Where are you going? Okay, there's enemy fleet. 27k versus 27k. How the hell is this gonna go? I have a feeling this was a mistake. 2.9k. Oh, what the hell? Why is the transport fleet in this war? Oh, nice. Oh, no, these are destroyers coming in to assist. Incoming transmission. Research. Okay. A research agreement? I will accept that. I think that's going to make some of my factions happy. And we've completed some research. The blue laser. What is your favorite color? Blue. All right, assist research. I want gene therapy. Let's get the 10% naval capacity. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, look at this. You see, this is a fleet gaining the upper hand at 2.1k, and we have more ships coming in. Yes, we got this. I mean, I knew we were going to win the entire time. All right. All right, guys. Look at that. And look at that. Relative naval strength, plus 30. All right, so we can go. We can go for the whole kit and caboodle. Oh, the this Bloodborne are, are gone. They've been taken out. Okay, let's finish up our war here. Let's finish it up. Victorious Admiral Azizi. So our transport fleet almost here. Okay, perfect. And who the who are they? This is a little ship coming in to do some surveying, maybe. I don't know what what they're doing here. Okay, we get to pick another thing. So kleptocracy, we're gonna get border range plus ten percent and naval capacity increased. Beautiful. All stuff that we want. All stuff that we can utilize. Yeah, our borders just bulged a bit. 
Alright, there's another enemy fleet. Alright, we're about to seize this world. Or are we? Oh my. They, we're getting our arses handed to us. Retreat! Well, okay, maybe maybe we can just do peace. How about, like, we can liberate some of these systems. And destroy the frontier outpost, maybe. Or, I mean, well, there's no need to be lazy. We have the upper hand now. We can take our time. So I think for now, I'm going to end off today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not. And I'll see you next time for more Stellaris. Have a great day.